Thank you, Reverend Nancy, for that meditation. Now it's time to hear some words from, from Reverend Michael Wallace. Morning. 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 Okay. So today's talk is uh, is uh, unity within the foundation. Uh, we are beings with physical, mental, and spiritual components. God created us to have this foundation. God. Uh, gave us free will to make choices and from these choices create and manifest our path of life. This life may have health, wealth, and happiness if we so choose. The key here is does our focus relate to the physical world and or the spiritual? The body is designed to heal itself when we consciously work in unison with the body for its optimal function then we are working within the body for unity and the function of the design is functioning accordingly and we combine the physical with health. The body is designed for movement. Moderate physical activity is appropriate, such as walking, stretching to keep limber, and yoga. Some excel in physical activity, such as triathletes, or mountain climbers, or free cliff climbers. <coughs> I tried rock climbing in June of 2018. It did not turn out well for me physically. <laughs> By the grace of God, I am still breathing today. <laughs> what happened was I thought I would do some weeding around the yard. In part of the front yard, there is a hill with a sharp drop with jagged bowling ball-sized rocks cemented together to pre prevent soil erosion. This is an example of unity in the physical uh, in action. Anyway, there was a weed just out of my reach at the top of this hill, so I stepped forward to get at it. The instant I did this, I realized I had made a mistake, but it was too late and it was all I could do to maintain my footing, which I was able to do. I had not run this fast even in high school and for a person in my 70s, I was amazed. <laughs> When I was young, I used to be able to run fast among the river rock bed without losing my footing or twisting my ankle. Thank goodness I still had this ability. The decline on the hill began to level some at the bottom, and when I reached the pavement of the street, I was no longer able to maintain vertical, and as I fell forward, I was aware that I was going to plant my face on the pavement with great force, like a hammer hitting a nail. Now in Hollywood, um, California, uh, there is a place where there are stars on the sidewalks <laughs> and I was about to plant my own star on the pavement of my cul-de-sac. <laughs> But when I got up, after lying there for a while, I realized that somehow I had landed on my back and a little on my side, and it took me days to figure out how this miracle happened. Anyway, I have healed mostly and had the attitude, still thinking I was young, uh, the mental part of this talk later, that I would let the landscapers go and I would tackle the yard work myself. Well, without my asking, here at the chapel, Spirit told me thumbs down on this idea for a project. <laughs> now, I am still within unison with Spirit, and I have admitted Spirit is right, and I consider the money I pay the landscapers as health insurance. 
The point of this story is an example of unity, a story with an ending of using the focus of my attention spiritually to use my prosperity to pay landscapers, so that I may maintain a healthy body, so I may enjoy life and be happy mentally. Another example of consciously working with the body could involve eating and drinking properly, concerning quantity, quality, and appropriate times for eating. However, there are times we tend to overindulge, especially during the holidays. No worries, the body is designed to take on extra weight. The animals tend to do this naturally before winter. Nature seems to supply them with the food in preparation for the colder months of the year. This is an example of the environment of nutritional supply and the weather working within unison for the benefit of the animals. Or another way of looking at this is unity is functioning, it is the function of the design functioning accordingly. Another example of the physical that is very important is breathing. In the spring of 1992, I worked at sea level and I moved to the mountains in California. One morning, I locked myself out of my house and could not drive to work, so I began exploring the hilly residential community of houses among the forest of trees. I found a hill among many that would be perfect for working out jogging. A couple of weeks later, I tried to jog this hill that was about a half mile long and steepest at the end. I failed miserably. I was so far out of shape and overweight that I could only manage very slowly jogging for about 10 yards and then walking 20 yards. Doing this, I was able to make it to the top of the hill but the last 20 yards at the steepest part of the hill, I had to walk. I found this performance very disappointing, but that was because I was not in reality concerning my physical conditioning. I thought about this dilemma of wanting, wanting to jog up the hill, but to not being able. At the time I was working a job that with commute time required 16 hour days, uh, six days a week, so <clears throat> I knew I did not have the time to devote to doing what it would take to get in, into shape to jog up the hill. For a couple of weeks I thought about all my experiences working out and running races during my more youthful years. What I came to discover was that breath was not just bringing air into the body, but it was important how air is brought into the body. I began to realize there is a correct way of breathing and an incorrect way of breathing. There is breathing which we all do naturally and there is more efficient ways of breathing according to physical activity and the resulting effects uh, on the body, especially if the body does not receive sufficient amount of air for the physical demands of the activity. I definitely experienced that when I trained for three weeks once, swimming in preparation for a six mile run. The training was excellent and served me well for three miles. Then like hitting a brick wall, my body crashed. I slowed to a crawl, but refused to stop. Big mistake. My body was telling me that my muscles had overextended themselves and had gone from an aerobic function with sufficient oxygen to an anaerobic function and had built up lactic acid. At the time, not totally understanding what had happened, I refused to stop and struggled the last three miles. Huge mistake. <laughs> By the time I finished the race, it was very painful to move and took almost a week for this condition to totally leave my body. From my running experiences and wanting to solve the issue of making it up the hill where I now lived, I, decided, I, I devised a breathing technique and I was able to make it to the top of the hill without stopping once. Over the years I have learned that this breathing technique that I have 
now given the, the name Elbow. Uh, it's E-L-B-O-W, uh, an, an, ac- uh, an acronym, meaning Energy Lord, Breath of Wisdom, can do many things. Some, concerning the female body, had to be confirmed with spirit. The point of this story is that it is an example of the physical, mental, and spiritual working together, having unity. Reverend Angie conducts classes uh, with the breathing techniques of Qigong that uses the physical, (coughs) mental, and spiritual. Most of my life, since about eight years old, I consciously felt the contact with spirit only about every eight years. It is only recently that I have taken an active role in trying to consciously contact spirit to communicate. Lastly, even though we may not consciously, uh, not uh, we may not be consciously aware, all of our experiences are spiritual. Everything we think, say, and do involves the physical, mental, and spiritual. Even though we may not be aware at the moment, it is occurring. Sitting and lying down are a physical activity. In sleep or meditation, there is mental activity. We would not exist if we were not supported by the spiritual. By the spiritual. Meditation, prayer, and affirmations unify the physical, mental, and spiritual. Thank you and blessings. Thank you, Reverend Michael.